Hi there! Today we're going to make some dinosaur kale and white bean soup. It's going to be so delicious and nutritious. If you give me a chance to show you this recipe, you'll find out that eating dinosaur kale can be so much more appealing than eating the curly kind of kale that's tough and hard to chew. So, let's try this recipe. This is something that maybe you haven't tried yet, but if you haven't, let's give it a try. It's very soft compared to the other curly kale, and it's very dark, and that means it has a lot of vitamins. And this is actually called lacinato kale, or black kale, and I call it dino kale because that's how I found out about it. And this is an organic product, and it's actually a very healthy looking vegetable. If you have a store near you that you can buy greens that are as fresh and squeaky crisp as this, you're very lucky. This one comes from a company called Happy Dirt, and it's an organic growing company. Well, we're going to put it together with some other really good recipe ingredients. Let me show you what they are. Okay, in addition to the kale, we're going to chop up a couple of potatoes into small dices. We have a beautiful red onion, which we like for the color and also the nutrition of it. We have some garlic. We're going to chop that up real fine. Some carrots. All of these I'm going to make very small pieces. We have a couple stalks of celery, two cans of cannellini beans. I'm going to rinse them and get them ready to go. We're going to start with a little olive oil to saute these vegetables that are all chopped up. And I'm also going to add some water. I'm not using any broth this time because after it starts cooking the juices of all these vegetables, I'm going to add some white miso paste. This is a nice product to make it thicker, taste nice, and kind of savory without using any meats and it's a vegan product it's lactose free and it's also gluten free it's made from soy so we're going to mix that into the hot water as it's cooking all these other vegetables this miso is also a nice way to get protein and B vitamins and vitamin E and K and it also aids your digestion pretty neat Okay, so we are going to cook this on just a simmer because we want to keep as much of the nutrients into the soup broth that we can. So we're not going to do any hard rolling boil with this. We're going to just saute it and simmer it. All right, let's get the vegetables chopped up and get them started with a little olive oil. Okay, I'm warming up a nice cast iron pan. Starting to get it warm on the bottom. Add a little olive oil. I'm using robust extra virgin olive oil. I'm going to put a nice little amount in here to start the veggies cooking. All right, I can see that the olive oil is starting to sizzle. I'm going to add a nice red onion. I'm going to add carrots and celery. Get them sauteed a little bit. I'm going to add the chopped up garlic. Ooh, that smells good. I'm going to put that on medium heat while I finish chopping the potatoes. All right. While these are starting to soften up a little bit, I'm going to add my chopped up potatoes. You'll see that it doesn't take long to make such a nutritious soup. In the meantime, I'm 
meantime, I'm going to rinse and wash the cannellini beans, two cans. Now I'm going to add the beans. Nice sized white beans. Substantial for a soup like this. The seasoning. I'm adding some fresh ground pepper. I'm adding some nice red pepper flakes from my spice rack. And this always makes the soup warm and nice to eat. Not adding any salt at this point because the miso paste has plenty of sodium and I don't want to add any more sodium than that. Alright now that we have some seasoning in here we we'll mix it one more time. And let's add some water. We're going to add enough water to cover the amount of vegetables you have. And sometimes I don't always say how many cups of vegetables or something like that because whatever you use, you're going to adjust the recipe to what you have in your house for something like a soup. So what we want right now at this point is to just cover these vegetables with water. And we can adjust the water later. But we only want to simmer we want to keep all the flavors in here. And we want to have enough water to keep it going. Okay, so we're going to keep it on medium to low. Okay, and I'm going to put the lid on it and let that simmer for about 20 minutes. Now in the meantime, we're going to go back to the cutting board. And we're going to get this nice dino kale ready to add later in the process. Come on over. All right, we're going to wash the leaves nice, really good in all the cracks and crevices. And then we're going to cut this main hard stem out of there and make some nice to eat ribbons. All right, now we're going to take the hard rib out of the middle. Just very quickly and easily do this with a sharp knife. Because that's the part that people find very offensive when they're trying to eat kale. And a lot of times they give up on using such a nutritious vegetable only because of that stem. And I will say that you can see this is so tender compared to other kinds of kale. And that's why I picked it for this soup. So we'll get rid of the stems. We'll make a nice little pile here of the tender leaves. You can see how quick you can do this. We are going to add this at the last step because we don't need to cook this very long and we want to retain the vitamins and minerals and by just adding it to a low temperature and by adding it to a low temperature liquid we can save a lot of the nutrients for our bodies So when we add it to the soup, we just want to let it wilt. So you can almost have the heat turned, ready to turn off. Add the ribbons, the dino, and then just let it wilt. Alright, so we have a nice pile here that we're just going to cut very thin, small ribbons. So that when you get these on your spoon, it's not like something you have to chew it up. Just nice and small. 
you can hear the freshness as it crunches when you cut it. And you can see I'm making them very small pieces. Now, if you can't get dino kale, get some kind of nice green that you like. It's something that cooks quickly. You can even use spinach because that's another one where we just want to let it wilt into the warm water as we get ready to eat a nice bowl of soup. All right, now this is what we're going to add at the end. Now let's go over and stir the veggies in the cooking pot and we're going to add some miso. I'll show you how. All right, let's take a peek. Oh, see that simmering going on? You can see the small little bubbles as it cooks the potatoes and vegetables. Let's just stir this around a little bit. That's the kind of temperature you want to have as you're cooking these veggies. This actually says 22 servings per container. So that tells you just a little. Now, if you have some experience with this, you can share your experiences with me. I'm going to take the top off. Just a piece of cellophane and we're going to use a scoop like this to make our pot of soup. Now I'm not going to put it directly in because we want to definitely dilute it first. So we're going to take a ladle and take some of the hot liquid and put it into the bowl with the miso paste. And this is the way we're going to dilute it before we introduce it back into the soup. So this will all go right back in, but it's a lot easier to distribute this way. It kind of dissolves with the hot liquid, and you can see that it breaks apart nicely. And we just want to make like a sauce out of it before we put it back in the soup bowl because we don't want any clumps like like this to get on your spoon. So let's just smash it around a little bit. Some people even say like when they're a vegan person and they want to have the flavor of cheese like Parmigiano cheese, sometimes they use the miso like this to flavor their food and it tastes a lot like there's some kind of Parmesan in there. <laughs> That's just you know how some people feel about it. All right, so here we go. I'm going to add two cups of water now. And now it's more like a pot of soup. And we're going to let that cook until the veggies are done. Then we'll add the dino. We'll be back. All right, let's check the soup. Okay, there's still a nice little simmer going on here. The vegetables look tender. Let's check a potato here and make sure these are soft. Did you see that fall right apart? Perfect. Perfect consistency. All right. Now, set the lid aside. I'm going to turn the heat off especially with the cast iron pan where it retains the heat. And here's our bowl of chopped up dino kale. And we're going to toss that in. Nice amount for that pot. And we're just going to stir it in and watch it start to change color a little bit and wilt so that we can mix it throughout this nice soup mixture. See how the color changes a little bit? That's why we don't want to boil it. We just want to keep the nutrition into these leaves for us to eat. 
isn't that beautiful? You can see the red pepper flakes floating around in there and some of the fresh black pepper. Beautiful. All right, now I'm going to fill a soup bowl. Definitely going to use one of my favorite things here, which is a soup bowl pot holder. And these are from Greens Quilting and Weaving. I'll give you the link to them if you're interested. But it's so wonderful to use with a soup bowl like this when you're getting soup right off the stove. <laughs> Protects you. All right. Let's scoop some of this nice white bean mixture out. As much broth as you like because this is a nice miso broth and the nutritious white beans you know I didn't even mention the white beans as I added them <clears throat> but there have been some studies that I've read on cannellini beans where they've been found to reduce cholesterol and triglycerides in your blood and also to lower your blood pressure so how good is that along with all the other nutrients in this bowl all right let's taste it and see how good it is if you do go to check out these bowl pot holders from my link, you'll see all kinds of pretty colors and different characters and things that might suit you. I'm definitely going to try it with the, my first bite with the piece of the kale and beans and some of the other goodies in this bowl. That's a really good soup. And that miso made such a full-bodied broth. It's a vegan dish. It's a vegan dish. It's a healthy dish. Try the recipe. I really want to hear if you try the dino kale because it's so different than the other curly, harsh one. And I think most people would like this. Thanks for watching.